I didn't do a video after I got this, but I've had this for a few months now. This is the um, Afterglow PDP-1 Xbox 360 controller and see-through. It has LED. And back here, there's a switch. Well, a button. Um, the older ones had the switch. But it's the orange one, and let's see. Right. Let me click the button. Okay. Right now it's in vibration mode. <laughs> Whoops. Um. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I decorated it with a bunch of sticker. <laughs> but. Yeah, there's my Xbox. Arcade with a 60 gig hard drive. But yeah, um, while I wait for the game to load, I'm going to talk about the buttons. So all the buttons are the same as a genuine. Um, the only difference uh, between the genuine and the um, afterglow is the start and select button. Different spots. And on the genuine, the rumor packs, it has a little connector where you just plug in. This afterglow. Uh, it's soldered in. The board. Um... But when I until I wait, um, now the push that button again. All of a sudden, it will stay on constantly. But yeah, um, God, it's hard to find that button. Um, but we're switching back to that because that now when the remote. The controller picks up vibrations. That happens. So, um, and it will also happen when now let's zoom in at the rumble. And let's look at the. Well, the other one's being blocked, so turn it. Yeah, this is the what's considered the ultimate gaming controller for the 360. Um, and it's the number one selling wire controller, and it's around. Thirty dollars at um, Walmart. And if over the few months that I tried, that I've been using it, it's really, really, really good. Next time I have money, um, I'm gonna buy the another one of these with the green LED because the orange was the only one available at Walmart at the time that I got it. But yeah, um, thank you for watching this review in a way of, um, that's Afterglow, PDP-1, where's it, Xbox 360 controller, so, <laughs> yeah, have a good one.